let's open these two new PJ Mask sets and see what I got in my advent calendar in 2022 for PJ Masks coming up after this. PJ Mask, PJ Mask, PJ Mask, PJ Mask. All right, I love little PJ Mask. I loved it when uh, Just Play, I think that's the company that used to make them, but Hasbro took over a couple of years ago and they're not as cute, but they're still super duper cute. I found this advent calendar. I really wanted to get it, but I'm trying to be really good and save money and stuff and not buy too many toys that I don't have to need to have. And this I found half price at a grocery store uh, a couple days into Christmas. So it was wonderful that I found it. I really wanted to get it. I was hoping to find it on sale eventually the next year or sometime. I didn't know when I was going to find it. I was really happy. Uh, it uh, had lots of stickers in it. Usually we don't like that with advent calendars, but you know what? I didn't mind. The stickers were so cute and the fact that there were exactly nine to fit into this sheet of paper. So you can see the nine stickers that I got, but you can imagine a kid, maybe a kid doesn't even mind though, on a Christmas day and you just get a sticker. Uh, I, uh, open two, I open Fisher Price Little People and PJ Mask uh, every day and I didn't do it on my channel because my channel I accidentally deleted. Luckily you can see it is back now. I am so happy. Uh, that is the best Christmas present to me. I missed, uh, yeah, it, it was gone. It was horrible. I felt really bad. I cried. So I know how much it is important to me. So this year, just I'm gonna I'm going full blast in the things that I love, and I'm really gonna appreciate the toys that are awesome and these toys I love so much. This they have blind boxes. Okay, Hasbro is horrible for blind boxes because you the codes on them don't work. There's no code. There's no way to tell what's in the figure. I was lucky to find the very first series of blind boxes in in stores because um P, I don't know if it's kids but somebody would be opening open them to look at for a, a specific character I guess and they would go to off price stores or I would find them in Walmart and they'd already be open and I could see the ones that I wanted to get so I eventually did get the whole collection there is a Valentine's Day collection that is I think it's a year old it is now available at the Dollarama Canada's biggest best dollar store Unfortunately, uh, there's, um, what is there? There's, there's 12 in a box and they're $3 each. I can't, I mean, I, I, it's probably two complete sets, but that's 30 some dollars to get the whole collection. I, I really do want to get it, but I didn't. I found a fresh case. That's your best scenario. I think if you buy a, a, a whole case, you're going to get all of the figures. Now, why I'm talking about this is there was a pirate series and I didn't know there was a pirate series be before I bought this. And all also, I didn't know that there was a pirate character pack, so you can get the three uh, main characters, Owlet and Ge Gecko and Catboy, and this pirate robot, which, what is his name? His name is Pirate Robot. <laughs> I don't collect the cars, and I don't really want to collect the cars. I mean, I guess it's great. I don't really want to collect the I, I think the pirate ones are silly. I think this is where they jumped the shark with uh, the theme, but I think that they're going to have better themes anyway. So I'm not getting the Halloween ones. I hope you checked out. There's so much to say about PJ Mask. I love these figures. I hope you checked out the videos where I opened up these two cases. These are filled with great things. I'm also storing the Advent Calendar um, ones in here, so you will see those there's some plain clothes the kids just in their pajamas there's a set of Toys R Us I decided not to get that because I didn't think they were that cute after all and it's about $50 so I waited for this to go on sale and I had a coupon so I was really
really excited and I ran to Toys R Us as soon as I found out that they had it on sale and I had a coupon and I was so happy to get it on sale but I chose not to keep the kids not in uh, their superhero costumes but just in the pajamas. I like my original Just Play ones. I hope that's the right company. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's Jazzwares. I think it's Just Play that made them before. Um, I've been talking so much I haven't even opened up these things. I'm gonna quickly open up these figures. This robot pack, when I saw this on Walmart in Canada, Walmart Canada, I thought it was so cute. I think it went on sale cheaper than what it was and then the price went back up again. But it seems to me from the picture, the screenshot from the show, that they have not uh, made the sizes accurate. I think there's a daddy, a mum mum, and a baby. And the daddy's supposed to be really big, but not in this set. They just used the same mold to make it. And I still have some old um, Just Play ones available to open. So um, I'm going to be opening some of those. And, and they're not toys that I want to sell. They're toys that I think are some of the cutest toys in existence. So I have to keep them and open them and love them. There's some really fun sets that I have yet to open. So here's the rest of the box. There's the art on the back. If I didn't show you, he comes with this a giant remote control. They have hero ID, these characters. So I think with larger play sets that they identify who they are, which is kind of cute. What does it say here? All of Romeo's bots. Okay. Well, I love that we have those. So yeah, is it the same mold? Yeah, it's the same mold. So I guess this is daddy and my mom. And it looks like they have three eyes down here but i don't know where they actually that also looks like an eye i don't know where they see from how do they articulate the arms twist oh the arms twist and go out well, that's special and the legs move together but it's cute and yeah they're identical but painted differently and i'm really happy to have these cute 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 and extra extra cute which we may have got this um sculpt before but i'm not sure we'll check that when i open up these cases i'll show you that later in this video what i have in here but that is cute and he stands just like this he balances on his pink base that's cute and then we get a romeo character again i will see how he's different i don't remember this backpack on him he's got this little lab coat skirt thing going on and his big gloves cute and i love his hair that's actually kind of what my hair looks like that's why i had to put a hat on because my hair was looking a little too much like that today all right and then this i'm worried about this set because I think it is like the gateway to getting all of the care all of the characters and their mini vehicles. And I don't wanna do that. I mean, I'm okay with not getting the pirates. I skipped that whole um, line box because the only one in there that wasn't silly or that I didn't have was this guy. So the whole reason for me to get this set was to get this character. I like to get one of every character, at least. And I thought getting him with these mini vehicles was the only way besides getting one of these huge play sets. He comes with a pirate ship, but he is cute. Same kind of articulation with the legs moving together and the shoulders going out and around and his head turns though. And yeah, does his head turn? Yeah, his head turns. What a cute, what a cute little pirate robot. I love robots. I've got some robot videos to do, some just generic robot toy videos to do in the future. I like he's eating a knife and fork. It's a hungry robot. Wow, he's painted really nice. I love the colors. Super cute character to have my collection. Okay, now let's check out these little cars. I guess it is nice to, you know, get a couple of these and my favorite PJ Masks character is Gecko. I guess because he's the cutest, youngest, babiest one. But 
his car is pretty cute and cool too. It has a tail, looks like a dinosaur, a little a grumpy face, it looks like on the front. And then here is the mini pirate ship rover. And that's a cute little set too. Let's uh, sit him inside. I guess I could have split this up into many videos, but I mean, I wanted to open and look at these things for so long. I have no idea how they are supposed to um, sit in these chairs. Does it tell you? It just shows them sitting in and rolling. These ones also have hero ID. It says battle racers. Oh no, are you supposed to smash them in? They're like bumper cars. Um, I don't see a special... He's, he's got a seat. I don't know what that little... Why they put that hole back there? Oh, maybe it's a generic seat because all of them have tails. So that way that they can sit in. But I don't see, do they hold on to it? They hold on to the side? I guess what you're supposed to do is smash them and so they can go flying out of their seats. So it does look like it's just a generic seat design that they make so anybody with a tail can fit in anybody else's little bumper car, battle car. Guess that mean, I'm assuming that means that they're bumper cars. He doesn't stay in. I guess he's pretty top heavy because of his head. But he's not sitting in his chair very well. I'm not going to figure out if there's an intention. Maybe he's allowed to hold on to the side. I guess he can put one hand on and he's holding on. It's a pretty cute little car. I guess I'm happy that I have this one out of all of them. That's cute. Oh, I said that Gecko was my favorite. Did I show you these stickers? Yes, I did. They're super cute. Uh, but there's Night Ninja. He's a bad guy, though. I guess out of the bad guys, he's my favorite, but he's probably my very, very favorite. And we can start with him for the advent calendar. So they all came with snow on them, and they came in a really weird order. So they started out coming in a, a good order. They got a character, and then maybe you got a sticker, and then you get some accessories for that character. But then they just started giving you random accessories that don't go with the characters that you have and you have to wait to get the character so i don't know what was going on with the order but anyway he came with these splats i think that they were called and he's totally translucent which i can see right now because i've got the lights and they all come with these blue translucent accessories and i loved that i love translucent and there's gecko with a helmet and i've seen that helmet in one of the other sets that i opened oh my goodness this that red case set that i opened with these animals in it oh yeah the animal the animals are the next blind bags blind boxes i'm still if i find a case i'm gonna buy the whole case yeah, I'm gonna get doubles of the animals, but I, I just think they're so cute. And then there's two new characters in there. But that's that was from another review. We need to concentrate on the snowy ones. Oh, well, that came with wings to clip on. I've had these wings before. I thought I was gonna have enough time to do an overview of my whole collection, but not really. I can show you in here what we're kind of dealing with. Okay, I think I took some accessories from other sets. I think uh, these swooshes didn't come with the advent calendar, but I really wanted to soup Catboy up. I didn't, I wanted to take this picture for Instagram. Um, I haven't done it yet, but look at all of that. Maybe I'll, I have to wait till it snows again, and then I'll take that outside. And that is, he looks so cool souped up like that. And, oh, but that's not, uh, Oh yeah, that's not the one we got. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one we got. And I'm supposed to be probably using the translucent version. This is the version that came with the advent calendar and this. I must have screwed this up in the in the making. But um, yeah, you can so you know he's the snowy version. Um, chewy gummy translucent helmets that came with these. I definitely re recommend the PJ Masks calendar for your kids for next year because 
it was just so fun. Even the stickers, I didn't mind. But again, maybe give them two or three advent calendars to open. I mean, that's kind of greedy, but I like it. Hey, I didn't show you Romeo's remote control from the robot set. That's really nice. It's hollow on the inside. I've never seen him one with colors like this. He came with a gun in in the advent calendar or this ray thing for him so that's cool but he usually does have a remote control so, but that gun as you can see it's all the same translucent frozen plastic and that is his frozen look at even his hair has the snow on it really cute that they painted them that way yeah, they are. Like I said, they had Valentine's Day blind boxes too. You know what? I'm probably going to break down and buy those. Maybe if I see another full case that has been untouched, I might have to buy it because I'm just, I love these too much. And $3 a figure isn't so bad. Oh, the thing that I wanted to tell you about the latest animal blind boxes that I don't think are out in the States or Canada yet, but each one comes with one of these totems and they're in translucent plastic. They'd be so great for dioramas. Here's the rest of the accessories came. I don't know. Lunar Girl, I think, usually rides around on this sled, but we didn't get a Luna Girl. Luna. I don't have one in the open box right now, but yeah, so I guess that is made for Romeo. And then uh, these two. What are these two things? What's this? What's what's going on? Um, I think these are from the other set. I'm gonna have to figure out. I don't know how I mixed those things up, but um, yes, yeah, some blind box came with the cat boy with those things. Uh, Gecko, where is he? Where's the one with the translucent hood? Oh, right here. He came with a suction cup. I think he's usually the one that uses the suction cup because he sticks to the wall. And he came with this turtle shell shield, which is so nice too. So all of those blue colors and yeah, amazingness, cute, adorable. All right, that's uh, my Christmas PJ mask haul. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. At the end of this video, I'll show you some of the other characters that I have from my collection. So I will show you everything I have. We'll see you next time. Okay, so there was this latest set that I opened with the three animals and the three riders with helmets. So uh, check out that video, that's really cool. And then there was this. I opened all of these. You can check out videos in depth of all of these. So here are these underwater ones and they came with her. So that was a four pack that was opened like the ones that we opened today. And that was cute to get. And then in this one, I think I store the blind box and I believe I, I, I found them sporadically. So I open them every once in a while on my videos, but oh my goodness, look at that guy. So cute. That monkey guy who is made better than the one that was made from just play. And then night ninja looking cute. And then we have on you. I don't think I remember her name. Anyway, she's adorable and she's got little buns, bun buns. And uh, the theme of those were they were translucent. So you might notice that they're clear. So I love this series is that they were translucent. So then we got a translucent Romeo, which is cool. And then there's this guy. I forget what his name is, but I opened him in both brands too, but this version is translucent. He's holding a globe and they all came with these really cool accessories. Oh yeah, I mentioned Romeo's remote. Here's another version of Romeo's remote. And then, oh, here's a translucent cat boy with uh, things going on, a translucent outlet. Her body is translucent. Oh, that might be cool to mix those with the translucent accessories. And then, oh yeah, here's the other robot that I wanted to see if he was the same robot. He appears to be a different robot than 
the robot we got today, but they're they're similar. But I think that they had different molds. They could be the same. I don't know. And here's Luna Girl. I mentioned her. Um, big shields. Uh, again, you're gonna have to check out my videos. I'm gonna have to, or maybe do an overhaul. I'm not remembering what accessories came with each of these. Oh, there's a suction cup that came with Gecko before. Um, so cute. Oh, and then this guy came in, I think, in this set. So he was exclusive to this set. But you can get a bad guy set. I didn't realize he was a bad guy. I thought he might be a good guy. But I just saw, I think on Amazon, where you can buy a um, bad guy collection. And I think, uh, I think that... Uh, um, Squid Girl is also in that collection. All right, I love these. Aren't they cute?